Hey guys, this is Shane and welcome to my Curator of the Lost channel. Today, hey, I'm going to give an Amazon selling update. If you have followed me for any length of time, uh, you know, I was predominantly, I've predominantly been an eBay bookseller. And around the early May 2022, so it's about six, almost seven weeks ago, I finally took the plunge, got on Amazon, uh, started, you know, sending in some books, building up inventory, I had my first sale, and I had some, you know, initial kind of status after the first week or two weeks, and um, now I'm about six weeks in, so I thought I'd give another update with some observations and maybe um, just just things, a few, couple things I've learned, but general observations that can help you, especially if you are, you're considering doing Amazon yourself. For, for all of you uh, old-time Amazon sellers and the pros out there, um, I'm sure you you have uh, tons more knowledge uh, than I do, but for me, it's kind of like the uh, my observations as the newbie, the new guy on the block, or as the uh, old eBay dog that's been trying to, to to work into Amazon. So, you know, before I jump into that, I want to say thank you, thanks for the the channel support, the comments, the subscriptions, the likes, all that. Just hey, if you guys keep doing it, keep watching, I'll, I'll keep doing this, and we'll we'll see what happens. So, um, with that, let's jump in. So. Yeah, so I've been doing this for six to seven weeks, <clears throat> and it's interesting because, you know, it's it's for me being an established eBay seller, I've found that it's moving slower than I like that I than I would have liked it to, right? But in the past week, I've actually I've actually sold eight or nine books now. Um, actually, in the last week, I sold a book on six of seven days, and. Um, I've made enough off my Amazon sales already to cover all my expenses to date, my, my pro subscription um, and my Scout IQ. So after for two months, that's basically $40 for an Amazon pro account, 10 bucks a month for the Scout IQ because I just went ahead and bought a year. So, you know, my expenses of just general to sell on Amazon for these last two months, roughly, it's like a hundred bucks. And and I've made more than that. You know, I've got uh, I've got my first payment, and I've got another payment pending uh, later. You know, at the end of the month, and so I'm in the green already. I uh, had had several of these books that I had posted. Um, I had a couple of the books I posted a couple of weeks ago about doing the quick sales to get some extra sales. Those sold. I only made like a buck on those, but I had a couple of books that sold that I had like fifty bucks profit on, and then some that were in between. Right, so. It's been kind of a nice mix and it's starting to pick up pace. So I've sold eight or nine. I've got one feedback score, uh, you know, little, uh, little help on feedback score there. So that that's, it's starting to kind of gain traction. So that's pretty cool. And, you know, there are lots of things about the Amazon experience that are more difficult for me and a lot of things that are potentially, I think, good in the future. So let's, let me just go, go through these. So the first thing I know this as an eBay seller and I've told, told um, I've had videos on this before, is that when you're starting out new, and it's been an experience for me because you know, I've been a bookseller on eBay for 20 years. So, but the first thing you have to do is build inventory. So I'm putting a shipment in today. That's gonna take my inventory up to about 140, 150 books. Um, I've got another shipment that I'm prepping. And you know, if you think about it, if you have like you know, 5% turnover you know, a month, like on a 140 book inventory, you know, that's going to be around that seven or eight books. Um, you know, so I don't know yet what to expect on inventory turnover, but on eBay, you know, if you have a sales through rate of 4%, three, three or 4%, you're above average on, it's a pretty good sell through rate on books. Um, and I maintain around a three and a half to four percent on eBay. So if I can get a four to five percent sell through rate on Amazon, I, I don't know. I, I'm thinking that's pretty good. And so for my inventory, my numbers are, my sell-through numbers are about what I would expect, right? Uh, obviously, I'd love to have that, you know, higher, you know, I'd love to, you'd love to sell through, you know, I might sell out every day, right? So, but it's just not feasible, right? But um, I think that's, that's, that's on track. And the key to this is to always just build your inventory. I've said this on eBay too, you, you can't expect to make, you know, whatever your number is. If you're wanting to make a hundred bucks a month, if you're wanting to make, 500 bucks or you want to make $1,000 a month. You do the math, you kind of figure, you know, what your average sell price is and the number of books you've got to sell. I've got some videos out there on this on what your expectations are, but the key is you have to build inventory. That's what I'm doing now and it's starting to pay off on Amazon. All right, 
One thing that I've kind of been surprised at is, is kind of the, I guess coming from, you know, a non-seller perspective, Amazon Prime, you know, get everything in a day or two. Um, it takes time to get this stuff in. You box it, you ship it, you drop it off at UPS, but then it has to go to the warehouse. Sometimes they take it to other places. Even once it gets there to their distribution center, you know, they'll sit there in the processing for a while. And, you know, it, it can take a couple you know, at least two weeks, it seems like that when I ship the books to get them live, you know, even though there's, once they're kind of scanned, I think people can reserve them, even though they're not like where they're going to, you know, stay in the Amazon ether, but, but it does take some time. So there is a time lag there that I was not expected. The, the other thing that, that I was kind of surprised at was this uh, approval process. I've run into a couple of books or several books where it says you need approval. And at first I was hung up on how to get approval because it, I would say, give me approval on my phone and it would never approve it. And Mike, the used book guy, who is one of our, the communities, our YouTube book selling communities, gurus on Amazon selling. And if you really want to know what to do, probably just go listen to him and look at his stuff. So, um, on, on Amazon, but Mike said, Hey, yeah, that's a known bug. You have to get asked for approval on a desktop in a browser. So I did that and I start getting these approvals. I have hit a few that, you know, it says, hey, yeah, you got to show receipts. And so you just, I just can't sell those right now, you know. But most of the time there, it's instantaneous, you get the approvals. But it is interesting because you scan in the, st the store, uh, like with Scout IQ, and you know, it's like sometimes if I don't say I need approval, you get it. It just kinda, it's, it's an interruption in the workflow. And it does take, you know, every once in a while you grab a couple that that you just get, you're just not gonna get approval for because you're not like a, uh, you know, reseller that you're buying from them and showing receipts from, from that company or whatever, but that's okay. It's just a surprise. I didn't, I didn't expect it. It's no, no big deal, especially with the tip of going on to the desktop and getting that approval. Um, the next thing is the Amazon workflow. It's pretty easy. And again, it's once you do, it, it's kind of, you know, the first time through is kind of like, ah, but once you do it, it, it actually flows really good. It's, doesn't take me that long to process 20 or 25 books. You know, that's, you kind of just set up and do it, you know, um, you know, you clean them, you label them, you box them, you, you know, you hit the buttons, you print out print labels and it's, you can go through a lot of books pretty quick. It's, that's nice. I will say that the interface from, from an eBay perspective, an eBay seller, right? The interface is, I find it to be very complicated. There's so much information and so many things there on all this e-commerce stuff. And, I'm still learning on where to find stuff, you know, at least their, their help or search is pretty good. It, it, it'll get you to things, you know, so I do find it more complicated on an interface level. And, but that also I am doing uh, fulfilled by Amazon. I didn't mention that at the beginning. I'm not doing merchant fulfilled. My whole purpose on this is to get, you know, things that can go there and ship from Amazon where I don't have to ship them to, to complement my eBay business. So the, on that point, I will say I love when something sells, not having to box it and, you know, ship it, you know, stop by the post office and ship it. I love this fulfilled by Amazon concept. It's, it's great for me, even though you do pay for it in your fees, right? But you can usually, it seems like on pricing that, you know, you can, you can command a higher price with that prime shipping and that fulfilled by Amazon. That's a good segue though, into what I'm seeing on repricing. I've already learned that it's smart and to, you know, take time, you know, at least once a week, if not, you know, twice a week to revisit pricing. Okay. And just kind of just see how the, what else is there. You know, maybe when you did the original pricing and you send it in, the price looked like it should be one place, but then once you get it there and it gets live, there might be 10, seems like there might be 10 other books there that, um, are undercutting you. Right. So, there's definitely this art to the pricing and the, but the concept more than just the art of the pricing, the concept of, you know, vi revisiting pricing and repricing is, I can see how it's really important on this platform. Um, I don't have a repricer yet, but right now I'm just go through it. I don't have enough inventory to have to really worry about it. Right. But I can do it pretty quick over a cup of coffee, but, um, it's something I've noticed. Um, also on pricing in this concept of just being able to quickly, put a label on it and send it in with a batch. It's kind of a different perspective of, you know, making four to $5 on a book is, is okay. You know, it's on my eBay front, I tend to want to make more. My average price on eBay, it'll average a lot of times around $18 a book. Now that's, I'm not getting $18 on every book, but what happens is I sell a lot of books that I'm making 
eight to ten dollars profit on, you know, after my cost of goods, after you know, I, I do shipping on top of that on eBay, you know, and on top of eBay fees, you know, eight to ten dollars. But then you'll sell a book that's seventy, eighty, hundred bucks, and you you sell one of those, it really pushes that average up, right? And the same thing will be true for Amazon, but on eBay, my you know, if I can only make like three or four or five five dollars on a book, unless it's just something cool that, I mean, there's cool stuff that I don't care about. If I can make five bucks on it, and it's really cool, and it's the type of thing I like to have in my store, I'll sell it. But in general, I'm looking for a little more profit for my time because I'm storing it in my office here behind me on the book room. I'm having to box it, you know, get it to the post office. It's if I, it's a quick seller, yeah, I'll take that. There's circumstances, but in general, I like to make more per book on my eBay store. What I'm finding on the Amazon, it's a little different mentality. I think this is where the scanning of the Scout IQ is handy. It's okay to make, you know, if you make four or five bucks per book, and it's a quick turnaround. It's one of those that's going to sell like every day. Man, that's just like icing on the cake, right? So that's a good thing. Um, and then if you've watched any of the other videos that I've done. I'm learning, I'm still learning and appreciating, you know, to use the Scout IQ. I still use my eyeball, the Mark Calibrated, Mark 1 Calibrated eyeball, um, as I say, but I use, it's another, the scanner plus my knowledge and my eyes are both tools in my toolbox and I'm, I feel like I'm using them pretty effectively together and that's, that's been a big win for me. Um, the other, the last thing I'll say, I had, a, had my cheat sheet here, things I wanted to comment on. Um, the last thing I did want to say is that I'm still not approved for that, you know, that buy box. All of my things still say no, 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 no. They're not eligible. Um, you know, like I said, I've got one feedback. I've only sold, I've sold maybe eight or nine books. I'm hoping I'd get a little more under my belt. I'll, I'll get where I'm approved for that because there's books that I have the lowest price on or some books that I even have the, the only book out there and it still says you know, that that um, recommended offer, the buy box, is still, uh, well, it's not that it's not available. They say that it's um, doesn't qualify. So as a new seller, I'm still not qualified for that. And there's whatever magic formula it is. But when that gets unlocked, that's going to, I think it's going to unlock a lot of potential and a lot more profit. So here on the early days, I'm also fine with just maybe taking a little bit less profit to get the sales to you know, get get things out there so that when I get that buy box, I can kind of kind of amp that price up a little bit for that competitive offer. So anyway, that's it. It's going good. Um, you know, there's you know no real no real gotchas yet. It's really you know other than being a little more complicated and yeah, okay. I think the fees are higher, but it's um, for what it is. It's working. It's a nice complement for me. Another sales channel right to diversify my sales channels and and i'm digging it it's it's good if i can build that up to be as successful as my ebay business as well hey that's mission accomplished that's what i was trying to do to push it so anyway i uh, hope hopefully you enjoyed this update uh there's some hopefully there's some tidbits in there that can help you or convince you to go you know yeah i want to try it or heck no i don't want anything to do with this amazon thing i'm gonna stay on ebay hey and you know what there's there's no there's no right or wrong answer to it. It's what you want for your business and it's what, you know, works for you. It's, it's what makes it, you know, it, it's what you want to, to get out of it and what is good and what you enjoy doing. And if that's, if it's not what you want, there's no right or wrong answer to be one or the other. I'm choosing to do both right now and it's working out. So anyway, remember what I say, see cool, bye cool. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.